Boulder is one of the finest places to live. We have a magical combination of outdoor spaces and natural things to do. We have the mountains right here. We have a lot of sunshine. Another magical thing about Boulder is at the end of the day, it's a college town. We have the university five minutes over that way. We actually started up in the university and it's a hotbed for biochemistry, cell biology. Uh, there's five Nobel Prize laureates right there. Edgewise is special because we are uniquely set up to understand muscle physiology and its implication to health. But we're not like a usual setup of a biotech discovery lab. We're small, but we have very specialized scientists within biophysics, biochemistry, physiology, and then integrative physiology, and then disease experts. And we all kind of cohabitate. That makes a big difference in terms of understanding what the problem is in patients and how we might solve that by our novel approaches in the lab. At Edgewise, we're interested in understanding the relationship between healthy and diseased tissues. And by understanding how they work, we can apply this understanding to help patients. I like to think of muscles like cars. Here at Edgewise, we focus on both sides of striated muscle, the skeletal muscle and the cardiac muscle. For our skeletal muscle program, we've worked out a way to tune the muscle by applying a bit of a rev limiter to preserve the engine, prevent it from blowing out in with too much use. On the cardiac side, we've taken a different approach to understand how these patients have a deficit in their brakes and their gas pedal. In these patients, they have a muscle that is very hyperactive, in which case the gas pedal is very easily depressed and changes, but they also have a problem with how the heart relaxes. So more on the braking side. What we've done here is developed a molecule that targets both of these deficits. One of the interesting features of muscle is that muscle structure defines muscle function. So by utilizing these tissues that are collected from living muscle in an animal, we can then ensure that muscle structure remains intact for our experiments in the lab. So we can then better translate our results of our compound effects from a dish into an animal model of different kinds of muscle diseases and ultimately to the clinic to treat humans with these diseases as well. We spend a lot of time and effort focused on pharmacology. We want to understand what our drug is doing to the whole body, and only by understanding pharmacology do we get that holistic view of you know, what our molecules are doing. Another important piece of focusing on pharmacology that lets us build pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic relationships, and we're able to take those relationships and translate them into the clinic so we can develop clinical protocols that let us focus in on what our drug is doing. It's really a stepwise process. So we identify the targets, we build those relationships preclinically and see if it leads to improvements in human health. Computational chemistry is the study of using computers to solve biological and chemical problems, analyzing data sets that would be prohibitively large or complicated to analyze by hand, you can start bringing in machine learning and AI to find patterns and solve problems and answer your questions. Biomarkers allow us to link the molecular mechanisms of disease and muscle injury with these other systems and allow us to get a more nuanced and complete view of what's going on in the disease and how can we address it. In Drug Discover, we identify uh, things called hits. And what a hit is, is usually a compound or a series of compounds that have demonstrated a level of biological activity against a specific hit. As medicinal chemists, we can take these hits and we can optimize them to achieve a level of desired biological activity. What is unique about Edgewise is we have both biology and chemistry capabilities here, which allow us to do drug discovery research on site. The chemist can take the newly synthesized compounds, hand them directly to the biologist, and have them run the assays and provide real-time data. The chemist can then take this data, make the necessary modifications to the compounds, and then provide the next set of compounds, which allow this iterative optimization process 
to continuously take place and allow us to move our programs forward rather quickly. From the very early days, we were always interested in genetically defined rare disease. That's where the muscular dystrophy idea came from. So in early studies, we saw disease stabilization in these Becker muscular dystrophy people, and that led to the Canyon study. And we had good biomarker responses and trends in function that were consistent with the previous stories. The second big achievement was really pioneering results in obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with a new modulator that instead of skeletal muscle modulates contraction in the heart. And that led to profound decreases in internal gradients in obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is another genetically defined heart disease. This compound manages to tweak the physiology of the heart such that we relieve the stress inside the heart without actually decreasing the contraction. I'm very proud of where we've got. I'm very proud that we've defined problems within patients and we're on the way to solving those problems. And I really look forward to a future of further success and growth.